On the last episode of What We Know, we talked about some pictures that were on their Instagram and one of them was from the past, or at least that's what someone said in the comments. Even though this picture looks like something that would be shown with something that's new, and I remember looking around and I don't remember this picture, so maybe I missed it? I mean, I did a video on pictures and I thought that I had gotten them all, but I guess not. Maybe that's why it was on the highlights section and the text at the bottom refers to Christmas. In any case, let's push into the next one, ah. So looking at almost every website that Void Interactive is associated with, I have not found much news or anything worth talking about until recently when a developer responded to a question on their Reddit about esports. And if you're not familiar about what esports is, then I'll just go ahead and give you the rundown. Esports also known as electronic sports, it's a form of competition using video games mainly taking the form of organized multiplayer competition particularly between professional players. The most commonly used video game genres associated with esports are real-time strategies, first-person shooters, fighting, and multiplayer online battle arena. MOBA. So before I talk more about esports, let's talk about the question on Void Interactive Reddit about esports. Esports? Question mark? Is there a future in which this game will be an esport game? Is it designed in a way that it could work? Or is it merely an amazing game with no esports future? And the developer replies with, We don't believe in designing a game with esports in mind, purely because it seems like a lot of those games are destined to fail. We're open to the idea of esports provided people play the multiplayer competitively enough. For example, establishing lands and competitions. And that's all he has to say about that. So yes, I completely agree with him. Let's see what my friends have to say. Connected. Hey. God damn! Hey guys, like, even hunters were scared of them. Hey you guys, huh? What, what are your What are your guys' thoughts on esports? Mm, they're all right. I don't care for the how corporate they feel, but you know, you know, I can't kinda... really complain. They make the money. I, I like watching them, at least if it's a game I like to watch. But what if it was a game that? You know, it didn't start out, you know, going with the eSport crowd, like, say, Halo 5, because that one was completely geared toward that. Well, that's... I, I don't like it when companies try to make their games for eSports before... Where's my parachute? Okay. Before... It, it, if a game becomes an eSport, it should be because people love the game, not because the game was designed with it in mind from the get-go. It feels, it feels disingenuous. God, what do you do? Just like the rainbow. I jumped down. The fucking thing didn't kick off. Just like the Rainbow Six series. Like, mostly it was like a tactical shooter, but then with Rainbow Six Siege, it basically... Yeah. That's... I just don't like it when companies try to do that, because a game should become an eSport because it's well-loved, and the mage just brought in a lot of garbage. Designed for eSports, with eSports in mind, just don't feel genuine. And it feels more like the company is just trying to get into esports because it'll make them more money in the long run, rather than doing it because they know fans love it. So well, they're not wrong. What? Well, no, people I know. eat that shit up. When when a when a game becomes an esport because it's popular and not because the company wanted it to become an esport, it feels more. Oh my god! Who pulls back here? And who pulled all that? Let me, let me give you something from the Ready or Not uh, Reddit. So it says esports crash. From Esports question mark. Is there a future in which the game will have esports? Uh, is it designed that way or could it work merely as an amazing game with no esports future? And the developer replies with We don't believe in designing the game with esports in mind purely because it has a lot of the time most games are designed to fail. Are destined to fail with that uh, with that in mind. Yeah, actually, that's exactly what I feel happens. Uh, you know, when it, when a game becomes an eSport, it's because there's a fan base behind it. You look at Evo, and, and that's the kind of shit that I'm talking about. Like, Melee is at Evo every year because there's a huge backing behind it, even to this day. I personally don't care for Melee over other Smash Bros. games, but there's a huge fan base for it, and I can see why. Yeah, and you know, but, the, but then you look at something like Halo 5, where Microsoft was pushing it to be an eSport, and it's, like, dead. I think it's got, like, what, 3,000 players active, which is abysmal for a game that's supposed to be an eSport. 
And then he continues with, we're open to the idea of esports provided that uh, people play the multiplayer competitively enough, establishing lands and competitions. So I think the way that esports usually tends to go is if that there's enough players that decide to you know form up something, then maybe it'll become official. At least that's how I usually see most of those go. Like with Company of Heroes, I've seen a lot of uh, fan base stuff, and then the company caught on, and they're like, oh, well, that's cool. We'll, we'll support you. Yeah, I, I like it when companies support it, because uh, WoW actually became an eSport way back in the day. And I think, like, four or five years ago, Blizzard's like, hey, we'll start, like, hosting the Invitationals if you want. But, like, you know, we'll sponsor them and everything. So now there's, like, yearly mythic dungeon run tournaments and like arena it's like arenas twos and threes and it's like the it's top cool. like 20x players or something well like teams the top 20 teams of like threes fours and twos and hmm. mythic runs it's actually really fun to watch them because they really go at it uh, i can't say i'm a fan of the mythic runs yet but maybe i just haven't watched enough of them to see the appeal but who knows <laughs> but it's very curious it's fun watching twos twos is really fun to watch because that's where like it gets super competitive because you know it, it's down to like just you and your friend and that's all you got you got no backup and sometimes they don't go with a healer sometimes they don't have a tank sometimes it's just two dps's and they, it's really interesting seeing just those groups of two dps's handle a situation where they have to deal with a healer and all the different strategies and shit oh yeah because there's, there's not really any rules behind it the the rule is that you need two people and that's it yeah, like, I completely dislike the concept of Rainbow Six Siege, but sometimes I like to go and watch their esports and just see how they work. I don't know. It's, it's kind of... It's not a game I find particularly fun to watch. Um, but that's the same deal with Counter-Strike, so it's not really exclusive to Rainbow Six. Yeah, it's I mostly know. just one-life game modes. One-life games in general just don't appeal to me that much. I like being allowed to make mistakes. Mm -hmm. Yep. That's why I like Battlegrounds more than Arenas, but that's just me. Because I get it, there's a market for it. And that's why Battle Royale games are popular right now. Battle like Royale the, they games. Like, they like the thrill of, of the hunt and what could lead to failure and what would happen if failure happened. Have you even seen uh, Battle Royale actually kind of spread its way into, uh, what, what do you call it, uh, Airsoft and paintball tournaments now? Oh yeah, dude. I watched uh, an Airsoft game where they, it was literally styled after PUBG. I was like, yep, that's actually I pretty that cool. that same video. Oh, <laughs> actually, that, was actually good. that actually looks like fun. <laughs> I kind of want to go do it. <laughs> I kind of want to do Airsoft, man. It looks like a lot of fun, but it's, it's so, so expensive. Ins yeah, it's so yeah. insane. A good Airsoft gun cost you like 400 bucks. Dude, I have not fucking... Like a bare bones one. Yeah, the uh, one of the better ones will cost you upwards of two to three grand sometimes. Seriously. Dude, oh, I it's so... I haven't played fucking airsoft since fucking I was like little though. Like, fucking my, my friend comes over with the fucking AK forty seven and and a fucking M four, and the only thing I have is like a like I have to pull it back and shoot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna end this recording here. Thanks for the talk, guys. Oh yeah, no problem. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that. That was a bit of a podcast sort of deal. It's always good to have, you know, another perspective from somebody else when you're doing these kind of things. But I think the last thing that I want to say is that I've never had an issue with the esports crowd aside from the fact that they put sports in the word. It feels a bit off to me, but I've never really had any issue until recently. I've noticed a lot of AAA studios have been making games geared towards esports because it's the cool popular new thing that the kids are getting into probably said behind closed doors like okay whatever i'm very neutral on the idea but i feel like it really hurts games that could have been good like halo 5 for instance that game was completely geared towards esports and i feel like it ruined a lot of the experiences that it previously had with you know 4 3 2 1 like the story aspect i feel like the story was just subpar and the gameplay itself felt a little too much like call of duty i mean i'm glad that they took the loadouts out from halo 4 but uh i'm getting off topic here so I'm glad that the developers over at uh, Ready or Not are making this game with esports in mind because I just feel like it wouldn't fit that kind of gameplay that we're going for because they're mostly, you know, focusing on the single player and the, and the co-op. The multiplayer is there, but it's not really the focus. And if it just so happens to take off, well, it takes off, hopefully with a big fan base. But ladies and gentlemen, that marks the end of this video here. I want to thank everybody for coming out to watch. Be sure to like, favorite, and subscribe. Click the little bell notification. Join the Discord if you want to talk to me. And I will definitely catch you in the next one. Bye bye <laughs>